There are a lot of meaningful reasons why people go into education. You could be passionate about academics or dedicated to systemic change. Maybe you just love kids. Regardless, a career in education can be a rewarding way to make a difference in people's lives. And you've probably seen the reports of widespread pandemic-driven teacher shortages, so the need for new educators is very high. Some states are even raising teacher salaries and developing other programs to incentivize people to join the field. A career in education can be demanding, but the importance of the work can't be overstated. With many job openings and the potential for rising pay, now could be a perfect time to launch a career in classroom teaching, or one of many other fulfilling roles in education, from administration to counseling to athletics. Here are a few of our picks for promising education careers to consider. Are you a lover of knowledge? Post-secondary teachers are more commonly called faculty, instructors, or professors. And if you went to or are going to college, you probably know a few. Though day-to-day -day duties and pay can vary greatly, faculty responsibilities typically involve a mix of classroom instruction, advising, research, or publication. As an instructor, you develop course outlines and syllabi, possibly adapt them for virtual or hybrid learning, and ensure that your education plan meets university and departmental standards. If you want to pursue a longer-term or tenured roles, you'll likely need to conduct research and publish regularly. Roles can range from full-time professorships, which may add participation in committees and other duties to your plate, to part-time and adjunct roles that are unsalaried and exclusively teaching-focused. There are over a million post-secondary teaching jobs out there, and if you want one of them, you typically need an advanced academic degree like a PhD or terminal master's. Though in some practical pursuits like law or medicine, a field-specific degree may be required. While earning degrees can take a long time and tenure roles are limited, projected job growth in post-secondary teaching is above average, and professors can earn well over $100,000 per year. So, especially for those who love to learn and teach, pursuing a faculty role can be well worth the journey. These days, many schools are working hard on inclusion and diversity. That can mean new professional opportunities. Interpreters and translators fall somewhere in between teaching and student support services. Interpreters and translators are typically fluent in multiple languages, and there's particularly high demand for expertise in certain languages like Russian, Spanish, Arabic, Chinese, and Korean. There's also increasing demand for American Sign Language interpreters who can assist deaf and hard of hearing students in both physical and virtual classroom settings. If you're skilled with language and eager to support a diverse student population, working as an interpreter or translator could be a great fit. While professional certifications with the American Translators Association or the National Association of the Deaf, for instance, can help with career advancement, most roles only require a bachelor's degree. Salaries are solid and projected job growth is triple the average across all industries. So you can feel good about helping people and be confident that you'll have plenty of employment options. Are you a good listener? School counselors work directly with students and their support networks, including parents, teachers, and administrators. Specific duties can vary, depending on if you work in elementary, middle school, high school, or at a college level. As a school counselor, you might help K-12 students work through challenges in school or at home. At the high school level, counselors and advisors also typically offer academic advice to students and help them plan their next steps after graduation. Career counselors and advisors at colleges help students put their degree to use, offering guidance with job searches, resumes, interviewing, and more. As enrollments grow, schools will need more skilled professionals to fill school counselor and advisor roles, with estimated growth to more than 350,000 jobs nationwide by the end of the decade. Counselors and advisors typically need a master's degree in counseling or psychology and need state certification. And if you want to be a career counselor, some roles may also require a specialization in career development. For those passionate about both education and sports, coaching can offer a way to shape the personal growth of students outside of the classroom and have fun doing it. Highly visible scholastic sports programs may hire full-time coaches, but other coaching roles just offer an enjoyable and occasionally nerve-wracking way to supplement your teaching income after hours as an educator. Whether you're coaching football, tennis, soccer, swimming, or Quidditch, working with young people on physical, mental, and social-emotional development in a team or individual setting can be highly rewarding. Though the median coach's salary reflects the wide range of role types, 
many of which are part-time positions, substantial job growth is expected over the coming decade. Plenty of less advanced scholastic coaching roles require nothing more than some experience with the sport in question and away with student athletes. For more prominent full-time and college level coaching positions, a bachelor's degree in physical education or sports medicine may be the minimum educational requirement, while relevant coaching certifications can also help. These are only a few of the most promising jobs in education. Are you eager to learn more about opportunities in teaching, administration, and student support services? Explore degree programs and career tracks in education at bestcolleges.com.